Well, hi, and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to do a video on our VCAM MX2 system along with our VLOC 3 Pro. We're going to be locating out a drain line here to see if it's clear. Tag along and see how it goes. Okay, so what we have here is our VCAM MX2 camera system and we're going to be going into this sump line to inspect where it goes. The homeowner's concerned about where the drainage happens for this line and uh, to make sure that the drainage is clear. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our VCAM MX system. I've taken the, this is a D26 self-leveling head. I've taken the camera skid off just because this is obviously much smaller pipe, about inch and a half pipe and we do have to get through a 90 degree here up the top of this pipe. Um, but then I think it's pretty straight all the way out. So what we're going to do, I've taken the skid off, we're going to run it up in there, get it through the 90 degree, and then I'm going to show you on screen what we see on this display. Very, very good color display on here. Again, self-leveling camera. And we record to, in the back here, we supply you with a USB as well as an SD card. So you just insert those in the back. We record right to those. And what we're going to do after that is we're then going to go outside and locate this line outside. So we'll use our VLOC3 sawn locator. Um, in this situation, it's a VLOC3 Pro. But the same would apply for uh, your VLOC3 cam or any of our sawn functions on our VLOC3 series. So let's get started putting this camera through the line. Um, and you'll see I have to be a little bit aggressive to get it through the 90 degree, but that's no problem. Here we go up, we're at the top, give it a shove, and we're through that 90 degree. So let me bring in here and see what we see on screen. Okay, so let's run through our controls here quickly on our VCAM MX. So the first thing obviously is our power button here, push and hold, fire the unit up. Then down here we have our footage counter if I want to uh, basically reset our footage counter and I'll show you that here in a second. So then down below on our on our main functions here of our camera, so our record right here, if I wish to take a snapshot, if I wish to zoom in on an image I can do that there. And these are for your playback as well. We also have a microphone so if you wish to go ahead and record voice over this, um, you can go and record stuff like the address you're at and whatnot. Uh, we also have a text writer where you can also write text onto the screen here as well. So let's begin with this locate. So I'm going to start recording now because I'd like to keep a record of this. Here we're back at our 90 degree, so our footage counter is zeroed out. I know that we're recording and we're going to go ahead and start pushing this out. Okay, so you can see there we've left our ABS pipe and now we're into what some of us would refer to as a big O. So drainage, looks like there was a little bit of a dip if you saw that. Seems like we're changing elevation. Oh, looks like it's gonna go down a bit. Remember, this is a self-leveling camera, so this is at the bottom of the pipe, so we can see you know, the bottom of the pipe here. Change a bit of direction again. Looks like we've got some crud. And it looks like it actually changes direction here. And we've got some water in the pipe. So I can tell by my counter here, I'm out 37 feet. And you can see I'm actually underwater at this point. Um, and I haven't stirred up this water yet, so you can see it's actually quite clear to see through and looks like there's some debris in there. Once I start pushing through this water and stir it up, it's going to become a little bit murky and hard to see. So I am into some murky water here and I'm about at the end of how far I can push this. So it looks like I'm about 63 feet out. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go grab the locator and see if we can locate the sonde on this. So what I want to do now is turn my sonde on. Quick push of the sonde button 
will scroll me through my SON frequencies. Often we use 512, it's the most widely used SON frequency out there. So that's what I'm going to use. Let's head outside and see what we can find. Okay, so here we are outside. We're in the area of where I believe the pipe is coming out. And because it was a straight shot, I didn't see any 90 degrees in the actual pipe when I was pushing it out and looking on screen. I believe it's going to be in this direction over here somewhere. So we've turned the receiver on, we're in 512, and we're going to start walking in the direction that the arrow shows us the most. So let's begin. So we've turned on SON mode by pushing and holding the M button. I've pressed my F frequency to get me into 512 hertz. So you can see now my arrow is flipping around a little bit, but I know which direction this is going to be in. So we're going to just start walking. You can see as I start to get close to it, it starts to lock in a little bit, maybe flips around a bit. As you can see, we're going through a little bit of snow here. So now you can see my arrow is locking in. I've got my ghost signal coming up on screen. So I'm going to keep moving ahead. That's what those little blue rings are. Got some bushes here to get around. So now you can see my bars have come up and I'm actually right over top of my sawn. It's not very deep. From where I'm holding the receiver, it's two foot three inches down. I can lower these bars right down. I don't even need them to be honest on screen because what I'm looking at basically is my red and green of my sawn, which is right beneath me. As I tip the receiver back and forth, you can see that that moves. So if I go past it, you can see that other ghost signal ahead of it and the arrow telling me to back up. So now I'm going to come back. So remember that sawn is just behind the actual camera head. So here I am, I'm going to place it on the ground. I know we've got a bit of snow here. So it says I'm 11 inches below where I am. And so the camera head is just ahead of there. And let me, let me show you what I found. So you can actually see in the snow where that drains out, there's actually, it's melted away the snow here. So I'm sure if I dig down in that water, there's a little bit of ice and water. And as a matter of fact, look at that. There's my camera head right there. So now I know that this line is clear. It actually tips up a little bit. So once this snow thaws, we'll inform the homeowner and let them know that they should come and basically tip this down, fix this up a bit. But there you have it. I've now located this line from the house all the way out over to here. We know the line is clear, there's no issues there, and the homeowner is safe to keep using this sump pump. So there you have it. Using our VCAM MX2 and our VLOC3 Pro receiver, again, whether that be any of our VLOC3 line, including our VLOC3 cam, we were quickly and easily able to locate out this, this line here and determine that there was no issues in the actual line. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and follow along for more content. Thanks very much. Have a great day.